place? Yeah. It's me, Arnold. Thank fucking God I can see you. Thank you, God. Maybe you do exist. Uh, Arnold, what are you doing down here, bro? Well, we had a little incident. I don't mind when the girl play rough, but when the pimp come in and he plays rough too... Oh, la, 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 la. What happened, bro? I tell you, it is a bad combination. Chinese opium and Brazilian prostitute. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, man. I, I was just uh, nodding off after a little bit of light after dinner bondage. And when the pimp comes in, he steals my wallet and gives me a good beating. <laughs> For watching too much television? <laughs> somehow, uh, somehow I feel my dignity is still intact. Wait a second. You're a guy who just enjoyed an opium-laden threesome with some light bondage. How could your dignity ever be in question? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> my friend. Uh, well, maybe you can help me uh, get back the wallet. Hey, compared to the shit I dealt with today, okay, that doesn't sound so shady. <laughs> <laughs> so why the fuck you not? <laughs> I believe he is over on Bronco, my valiant Spaniard. Please make a U-turn where safe. Please proceed to highlighted route. Turn left, then immediately left. Why did he not just ask me for the money? If he needed it, we could have made an arrangement. Perhaps a little forward. Maybe he didn't want to subject himself to no bondage, right or otherwise. He was perhaps more dumb than some, that's true, but surely being a pimp implies some perversity, or at least curiosity. It would have been an experience. Yo, don't worry, bro. We're gonna subject him to some shit soon enough. Life is an unpredictable thing, my friend. You don't need to tell me. Here's an example for you to digest. This morning, a delicious 22-year-old girl left her parents' apartment in Middle Park East. The only thing on her mind was buying a coffee, but I made her a proposal. Soon she was drenched in champagne, bent over naked in my hotel suite. Before 11 a.m., she was shoveling cocaine into her nose with a caviar spoon and begging me to give it to her again. And a few hours later, you was getting your ass beat by a pimp and bowhead. I sure does twist and turn. Touche! I should introduce you to my boss, bro. You guys could party together. Ah, uh, perhaps on my next trip. Yeah, no doubt. If we survive that law, you're on. That's him. Do you think you can get my wallet back? Don't worry, bro. He ain't getting away with your wallet. Yo, it's the French whipping boy. You ain't getting your cash back. safe here. Please make hey, a U-turn where safe. On, baby. Here's your wallet, bro. I'd stay in Afghanistan for now on if I was you. Things get rough out here in the boroughs. They do. And that's why I like it. It's your life you're playing with, bro. I just don't want to see you end up one of them deviant sex stories gone wrong. Like one of them guys who strangle themselves trying to get off. A civilian like you coming out to the point is almost a suicidal. That was cool. Oh, shit. You have arrived. Wow, what's okay, the bro, This is where I'm leaving you. You still might get robbed around here, but they won't kill you. Adieu, dear boy. It's been fun. <laughs> 